my channel if you're new here my name is Miranda and I'm so happy you clicked on today's video so today I'm gonna share with you a simple what I eat in a day I've been sharing these sporadically throughout the entire time I've been on YouTube but at the start of this year 2022 I shared with you guys I had some fitness goals and I just kind of wanted to recap on that so today is gonna be a little bit different of a video it's gonna be more vlog style I'm gonna share with you my workouts what I eat and I'm gonna sprinkle in some beauty products because I usually get a couple of comments per video asking about a beauty routine and I'm not going to give you a full beauty routine I'm just going to share with you the products that I like that work for me that are super budget friendly so let's jump into today's video starting out with what I had for breakfast oh I also do want to mention I'm sharing with you a 50 50 plate method that works for me it may not be your traditional 50% start 50% veggies but I have done that in the past I did that for many many months I really enjoyed it but as I'm moving into new goals Goals, new fitness routines I have recreated my own version of the 50 50 plate and I'll share that with you guys here today so come on let's get started with breakfast here is my breakfast for the day I am making some savory oats you might have seen me kind of write out my meal plan on my refrigerator I'm obsessed with that meal planner it's from my friend Lauren over at Louise Lane I will link her website down below if you're interested in getting one I've talked about her all the time because she's one of my BFFs and she just released that new meal planner so make sure you check it out so savory oats I have about a cup and a half of gluten-free quick oats that's personal preference you could also use grits for this recipe I have about three cups of a spinach kale blend that is fresh but I froze it it's uh, I got it on super clearance at the grocery store I think I shared that recently in a grocery haul it might have been a little while ago but whenever they're on sale I grab them at the grocery store because when I say super clearance it's like 99 cents for like a large package then I have some mushrooms a shallot and a piece of garlic and I find that if I eat savory oats, I love them warm. And if you've been around my channel for a while, you know I like sweet oats cold, like with blueberries and cinnamon, and a little bit of maple syrup. I also just wanna quickly say, because I always like to add my disclaimers, I'm not telling you how to eat, just like when I am sharing budget-friendly meal ideas, I'm not telling you how to budget, how to spend your money, how to gain financial freedom. I just share what works for me. I have personally worked with someone since October on my gut health with gluten and all the issues that I have with veggies. I don't talk a lot about that, but I'll share little bits and clips here in this video, but a lot of vegetables I have a hard time digesting. So when you have a hard time digesting vegetables, you're not getting a lot of fiber in. So I've been utilizing some wonderful fiber products to help me out, but also to focus on the fiber that I'm intaking in my diet to make sure I'm eating the proper veggies that my body likes, that makes my tummy happy. And that for me, includes eating a 50-50 plate. Now, typically a 50-50 plate is 50% starch, 50% veggies, super simple. I love that, but I also love variety. So my 50-50 plate is 50% veggies. The other 50%, I might do starches, legumes, and like a vegan protein, a tofu, or even a vegan uh, protein supplement, like if I'm doing a smoothie. But I just kind of have that 50% of my plate um, full variety, if you will. Like I don't uh, make myself have just starch. I allow myself to have more variety in that. And I really like it. It's helped me reach my goals this year. Back in January, I posted a what I eat in a day sharing with you that I really wanted to up my fitness, which I'm going to share with you what I've been doing for the last two weeks. Super excited. You probably already saw. I did Chloe Ting's two week shred. Loved it. If you haven't um, done that yet, I highly recommend. It's great and it's absolutely free. It's amazing. So to my savory oats, I just went ahead and added some Italian spices and some salt. 
you saw I added a little bit of water. That's a personal preference. I don't cook with oil. You could do whichever you like. But I got these on the stove top and they cooked in about three minutes. This is looking so good. I put uh, roasted red peppers in one of these last week. So good. So at the end here, I'll put in my greens because I mean, they don't really need to cook that long and they just kind of steam up a little bit. And I just added some Italian seasoning and a little bit of sea salt. Doesn't this look so good? Let me know down below. Savory oats or grits, sweet oats or grits, what's your preferred? I definitely prefer sweet oats, but this has just been so good. I feel like I'm having dinner for breakfast. <laughs> Here is breakfast. This looks so delicious. Let me know if you give this a try. And if you ever try anything that I share, take me over on Instagram and let me see. And I love having tea. Tea is my breakfast go-to. This is the one I'm having today. It's a lemon ginger by Bigelow. So good. It has probiotics in it for healthy digestion. This one was actually suggested to me from the lady that I've been working with for my gluten and tummy issues. So I really have been enjoying it. I love green tea, herbal tea, any tea, honestly, but that is my breakfast. Like I said, in January, I shared my goals for the year and I didn't know that one of those goals was going to be to up my fiber intake, but that's what I've been doing and I have been reaching my goals and loving this product is by Bellway. It's a super fiber plus fruit and you guys, it's organic, all natural, vegan, keto, gluten-free and zero sugar and flavored with real fruit. It actually tastes good, mixes really well and as I said earlier, I have a lot of tummy issues with fiber. So I was recommended to start a fiber supplement and instantly I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have this chalky fiber supplement that's hard to drink. No, Bellway is delicious. I received the raspberry lemon and the pineapple passion fruit. My raspberry lemon is about gone, so I'm sharing with you the pineapple passion fruit. So delicious. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm drinking fruit juice. Bellway's Super Fiber helps you feel fuller for longer after you eat. It can help aid in weight loss because as you know, the more fiber that you're intaking, additionally, it helps you cut cravings and eat less. Like I said, they're organic, all natural, vegan, keto, gluten-free, zero sugar, zero sugar, and flavored with real fruit. You can drink it one to three times per day. I typically drink it two times per day. I drink it after breakfast, in between breakfast and lunch, and then again at night. Also, you can save a lot of money purchasing their bundles on their website. You can get three to six tubs at once and save a lot of money, which is what I love, saving money. I'm here for that. They also have additional beauty and fitness bundles, so make sure to check those out too. And you know, I have an incredible, incredible discount for you guys. Use my code Miranda20 to get 20% off your first order at Bellway. Oh, and the link is down in the description box right at the top. You can't miss it. You're going to love this as much as I do, especially if you're looking to lose weight or up your fiber game. For lunch, I had a huge salad. Now my greens are a little bit brown. If you watch my next video, you'll find out why. So make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are turned on because you're gonna get a bonus video this week. So one of the things that I have been utilizing along with fiber, additional fiber, is to eat the greens that my stomach likes. And for me, that means a ginormous salad 
in the middle of the day typically. Now this is how I eat when we're not doing an extreme budget week because I do get questions on that all the time. I don't eat extreme budget all the time. Typically we spend between 50 and $75 a week on groceries and then if we're doing something really extreme, well I do something really extreme. And then this is the dressing I've been loving. It's so good. Apple cider vinegar, a little bit of the brine from the olives and some mustard. Mix it up. Mm, it's so good. It's so I, I guess I really like acidic foods, <laughs> and those don't hurt my tummy. We've I've been tested left and right for so many things recently, uh, so that that I'm good with. But I just feel like it's so good, and a little goes a long way on a really big salad. So I put some jalapenos, tomatoes, olives, and some dressing, and that's what I had for lunch this day. And I actually sat and munched on this while I edited. And of course, of course, I always have to add a sprinkling of salt. But that's lunch for today. We're gonna make a quick energy bite. I personally love having these on hand for before workout in the afternoon, after a workout in the morning as a quick snack. And I feel like I have enough ingredients on hand where I can make them and enjoy them today. So I did quickly write out a recipe. I will type this and put it in the description box, but you can use probably whatever you have on hand. Sadly, I used all of my oats this morning for breakfast. Didn't realize that I was out and now, you know, I wanna make date bites and I'm substituting for other things. So here's what I have. About three tablespoons of pure maple syrup. I did find these craisins and walnuts. I can eat walnuts. I have a lot of nut allergies, people will ask. Um, it's about an eighth of a cup of each. They were just hiding in our pantry. They were from a salad kit. So I was like, oh, I'll use them real quick. I have almost a full cup of almond flour a third of a cup of ground flax seed, which I ground myself. I feel so domestic when I do that stuff. A half a cup of chia seeds. I'll use a half a cup of almond butter and probably eight to 10 dates, whatever's in that package. Love dates. Oh, also, I'm gonna throw in some kale. I've never done this before. I keep seeing this on social media and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna put in some kale with these date bites um, and then they'll just have to be stored in the refrigerator and i'm just going to use my food processor to whip those up these date bites are so good you could definitely substitute the almond flour for oats and i mixed them up and was like okay they need something they're a little sticky they need a little more substance so i dug around in my pantry and i was like oh my gosh i have oat bran so i didn't have any oats but I had oat bran it worked perfect I'll put the full recipe like I said typed in the description box along with a couple of the recipes you're going to want to check out in the rest of this video FYI but these were so good you could definitely do spinach instead of kale um I feel like that would be really really good too but these turned out perfect I ended up adding two cups of oat bran and that gave it enough substance to kind of stick together without being super gloopy I figured if I didn't have any oats, I could roll them in cocoa. That way they would kind of stay formed into a ball, but they're so good. I love having something like this, like I said, before I run or work out in the afternoon or the evening or afterwards, if I'm like on the go in the mornings during the work week, I just like having grab and go snacks slash breakfast options. So today I probably had six or seven of these little bites. So I do have some leftover for tomorrow, which I'm really happy with. I should have made a bigger batch because they're really delicious, especially with the little cranberries and walnuts added in. So good, so good.
for the day and I need to ask you guys a question. I know 99% of my viewers are female, so I kind of would like to know how often do you wash your hair? For optimal hair health, my personal hairdresser says you should wash your hair once a week. Yeah, so I typically wash my hair about every seven days, sometimes 10. I've even gone as long as 16 before. But I've actually noticed the best hair health when I don't wash my hair as often because my natural oils have kind of like calmed down. I used to be an every other day hair washer and she was like, nope, wash your hair every seven days. Let your body um, kind of bring down those natural oils so you're not stripping your hair. And I've had so much hair growth this year, probably a lot to do with my diet as well, but my hair is super healthy and I just wanted to ask that really quickly. But I just got ready for the day and I thought I'd share with you my makeup essentials that I've been really loving lately. I do a five minute face every single morning. I'm someone who just like loves to get ready. It's just how I was raised, so I get ready every single day. You'll probably never catch me out in public without makeup. Even if I'm just in my house, I like to wear makeup. It's just me personally. If you don't love makeup, well, you can just be entertained and see what I use, or you can just kind of skip ahead because there are chapters listed below in case you're just here for the food. But let me share with you my current makeup products. I want to first start by saying I don't buy anything expensive. I used to. I used to always buy the most expensive and top of the line makeup, but honestly, there are so many low cost makeups that mimic high end makeup that there's literally no need to anymore. I do try to shop completely vegan. So ELF and Wet n Wild is actually my go-to. And I feel like Wet n Wild is a very like 90s <laughs> brand, but it's coming back and I feel like they have some great products. And I watch a lot of TikTok reviews. So I'm gonna just share with you some new to me if you've seen these before. Maybe you're looking for budget-friendly options when it comes to makeup, or maybe you're just like me and you like makeup and you like to see what everybody else uses. Here we go. So here's my lineup. I do use a finishing spray. I've been really loving this one. It's not dewy. I just finished a dewy one that wasn't amazing by ELF. It would work sometimes and then sometimes it wouldn't. I like a finishing spray because it gets really hot here. Sometimes I work out in the afternoon and I don't wanna redo my makeup. This one's amazing and it cost me like four bucks at Target. By the way, all these products are from Target but you can also get them on Amazon. They're usually like the same price. So if you're looking for a finishing spray and you like a matte instead of a dewy look, this one's really good. The world's simplest eyeliner pencil, just a black one from Wet n Wild. I get a couple questions here or there on my wing liner. I'm gonna pop up an Instagram tutorial right here. I probably could never share, show you guys how to do it, but she's amazing. You go from the corner of your eye, swoop out, and then reconnect. And depending on the shape of your eye will be, you know, depend on your wing. But I've been doing a wing for a couple years and love it. I just use a normal pencil. That's it. I am a huge fan of the ELF brand. This is their HD Powder in Luminous. I know that the dewy look is super in, but I like matte, and it has to do with my skin, but also I feel like, I'm gonna be honest, it has to do with my age. <laughs> it's what I'm used to, so it's what I like. And I'll eventually get into the dewy phase. I know I will, but for right now, I love this HD setting powder. It looks good on camera. It also looks good in pictures. Uh, this primer serum is amazing. The scent is so good. It's really inexpensive, and I can't remember the dupe that it's supposed to be for a high end, but I used to pay $80 for a primer. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that, but it was like eight years ago, and it lasts me a long time. That was always my thing. Like It lasts so long. This is like $6 at Target, and it's so good. Everyone needs a primer. You should try it. This little guy I found thanks to another influencer. Her name's Yami Mufti. She had purchased it and had it on one of her vlogs about a year ago, I want to say. It's a tinted veil. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So if you're not someone who wants a heavy foundation or it's kind of like between a moisturizer and I can't remember what a veil exactly is, but it's so light and a little goes a long ways. Like I use a tiny little dot of this on my entire face. Love it, I think it's super perfect. Um, and I usually do a little bit of the primer and then I do a little bit of SPF and then I do this. And I think it also has SPF in it. Actually, I'm not sure, but I love it. And I think I pay like $6 for this. Clearly, this one gets a lot of love. I love this four pack bronzer. I use it for contour but i also use it for eyeshadow so it's like a double palette to me and i think this is like five dollars at target 
My favorite concealer of all time is the ELF Camo Matte Concealer. So good, it's like Tarte Shape Tape, but so much less expensive. It's like four or five bucks. If you like more of a thicker concealer um, with just a little bit of highlight to it, definitely try this. This is a new to me and it's the Big Papa by Wet n Wild. It's their mascara. I've been really enjoying this. I would definitely just be a mascara girl. I was like until I got into makeup. Uh, love this. It has a great wand and I think it cost me like $4. So there is my little makeup. <laughs> this is what I use every single day and I love it. Hopefully, you know, you got some new product reviews. You have something you might want to try or maybe you were just curious as to what I wear for makeup. That's it. Okay, for dinner, I'm doing a roasted carrot hummus wrap. So I don't have that many veggies with this, but I'm including the cucumber and the carrots as like my 50%. So I think we're doing pretty good for the day. I also picked these up at Costco. We recently got a Costco membership because of gas prices. If you want me to do a Costco haul or shop with me or see what I would buy at Costco, I thought I'd try these. I'm always looking for an easy go-to wrap and these are pretty inexpensive um, and I really like them. They're gluten-free vegan almond flour so yeah if you'd like a costco shop with me or grocery haul let me know i only picked up a couple of things last time i was there but we're gonna make like i said a roasted carrot hummus wrap and it's gonna be so good i'll put some greens i have some extra lettuce left over so i'll pop some more greens in this This dinner was so good. And of course I had some leftover hummus. I do try to have at least one legume a day and chickpeas is my preference because that is the one that doesn't upset my stomach. So I just keep making homemade hummus a couple of times a week and loving it. Or chickpea like mock tuna, also a favorite of mine. But the roasted carrots with the shallots and the um, garlic go really good with this garlic mustard, which I, it's a Kroger brand, but we have Smith's here. I'm sure other companies make it as well, not just this one, but you could add any um, hummus that you'd like. I also added the peas because that's what I had left. I had some frozen peas left over from a stir fry and I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna throw them in here. Delicious, so much flavor going on in this hummus. Also, I'm gonna share with you here in a little bit my Chloe Ting workout. I did her two week challenge loved it absolutely loved it i will link all of her stuff down below if you haven't tried it i'm now moving on to a new program uh when this video goes up i'll probably be like two weeks deep and i know a lot of my subscribers are doing the same program as me you'll have to guess well if you want to you can pause the video and guess which one i'm doing but i'll leave a pinned comment down below i try to always share again what works for me what i'm doing because i hope that someone who is looking for meal ideas for help with cutting back on their groceries or if they're new to plant-based or they're looking for, you know, just a community when it comes to even like weight loss, I hope to be that person. And I just share what works for me and I have a lot of fun with it. And I know that my community here really enjoys it. You guys are the best. You have to try this hummus. I'm not even kidding. It's so, so, so good. And the cucumber was just like the freshness that this needed because it needed something because it was so hot out this day. So I just want to quickly add, these are linked down below with a discount code for you guys. My friend Lauren makes these and they're amazing. So she just came out with this new one that's magnetic. It's super thin, super durable, and you can just grab a marker. Well, obviously a dry erase marker and you can write whatever you want. This is the meal planning one. I love it because it tells you what to prep, what days of the week if you want to fill in dinner, but you can also utilize it any way you'd like. So if you want to check these out, I've talked about her so many times here on my channel. Lauren's one of my best friends and I love supporting small businesses. So make sure you check her out. She's coming out with reusable ones. I'm a pen and paper girl, but she sold me on this one and I think it's so pretty. This is called her, I think, Muted Rainbow. It's amazing. So make sure you go check her out. 
If you have never tried Chloe Ting's two week shred or really any of her workouts, I highly recommend trying them. I will link her website and her YouTube channel down in the description box. These are not my like typical style workouts. They're really unique. I feel like I've never done anything quite like these. They're all body weight. You don't need any equipment. She does have a couple exercises where you can use a band if you'd like. And I just wanna point out, my form is not perfect. I am not perfect. I don't work out to be perfect. I work out because I love to move my body and I feel incredibly thankful to be able to have a healthy body that moves and it just makes me so happy. So don't come at me if my form is imperfect, if you know I'm not doing everything correctly, that's not why I'm sharing this with you. I'm sharing this with you in hopes that maybe you're looking to do a new at-home workout program. A key valuable component for us is having a home gym and you don't need a lot of fancy equipment. Literally for two and a half years, I had a mat, a couple dumbbells and a used treadmill from Facebook Marketplace and I was the happiest little camper in the world. So I highly recommend giving Chloe's workouts a try. I love them and I think you'll love them too. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you are new here, I'm so happy you're here. Leave me a comment down below and let me know that you're new so I can welcome you and say hello. But I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I love sharing like little what I eat in a days. And it was fun to kind of do more of a vlog style to kind of, you know, feel like I was hanging out with you guys for the day. I hope you really enjoyed it, but I'll see you very soon. I have a bonus video going up this weekend and then of course i've been posting every thursday so make sure notifications are on so you never miss a video by me have an awesome day i'll see you on sunday Bye bye